Open a little bottle of Harriet. I don't need like sparkling water, but we gonna see what's happening tonight. I'm in my bag, and I'm in his too, Barry. Hey, the kid. Hi, Santo. Look, it's my birthday, <laughs> Marlo Puffers. <laughs> yeah, one thing about me, I know I'm always wet. Okay. It's me being a great dog mommy and going to get my baby a birthday cake because today is his birthday and I'm going to get him a birthday cake on his birthday because yes, and he's going to eat all his favorite food. I'm going to cook him salmon and steak and just get my baby taken care of. So y'all come with me while I go get him some toys and get him all of the things because that's my baby and he deserve it. So I already got his decorations and I need to cook, but I don't know what else. I feel like I should have gotten him toys, but I may go to Target get later once I'm done like fully done with work um because listen my work schedule is super flexible sometimes and then other times it's not but I just don't have the time today like right now maybe I do have the time because I got an hour and then my lunch I don't know child I just be liking to have a little time after my lunch just so I have like a little window but we'll see but I'm gonna go to this cute little place and get his cake and get him together I can't believe my baby is two, y'all. I have a two-year-old. I finally made it to the little doggy um, bakery. So I'm about to go in here and see if they have like a cake or anything that is ready to go for Santo. I mean, I might stop by his favorite little pet store, Pet Supplies Plus, to see if they have like some toys, but they might have some toys in here. So we'll see. So I just picked up his cake. It's literally so cute. Um, I'm about to head to Pet Supplies Plus to go pick up his toy. Typically I have to custom order his toy or just get it from a specific place because my dog is a super chewer. So yeah, he will literally destroy anything within seconds. But hopefully I can find something that's pretty sturdy and that will last. But we'll see. I don't know why this other car is trying to race me, but baby. <laughs> Not too much on Jamie because my girl gonna push it. But yeah, let's go get his toy. And we'll head back to the house to set up his birthday stuff. And then I gotta get back on me and child because baby mama don't stop working. Okay. So I got Santos toys. I got three of them. Thankfully, they gave me a coupon for his birthday. Um, and I think it's so funny. I'm literally such a dog mom because everybody is sending me number one happy birthday to my child which i appreciate and two all of the little places that i shop at for him are sending me like coupons or just emails telling him happy birthday and i think that is so cute because like i'm not even gonna hold you i don't know if i'm gonna have kids so it might just be dogs for me but yeah this is my baby like i gave birth to him two years ago today like was in labor for hours and you know that's my child and literally when i was looking back because i made like a little instagram like story post or whatever about it being his birthday and i started to get emotional because like this this is my baby but while i'm at this red light <laughs> let me show y'all what i got him so i got him this cute little nerf toy which hopefully he won't be able to tear this up hopefully we'll see then i got him a large tennis ball and then i also got him this other ball he loves little balls like these but we'll see how long these last guys I am guessing maybe like an hour because it's three of them but hopefully he don't chew through all these but yeah i'm just excited to celebrate my baby birthday but i'm gonna go home set everything up and then show y'all the final setup and then start i'll cook his food later and yeah this is my baby birthday i can't believe it we're good do it do it mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. right It's your birthdays. Do you care? That it's your birthday? Are you excited? Oh my goodness. Okay, let mommy put it up. Thank you. Thank you, Dickie Mints. Okay, where you want it to be? What's happening here? That right.
This is how our kids birthday party gonna be. You gonna be sitting on the couch. <laughs> okay. I had all that taken care of though. But you right. I could assume you had it all taken care of. Yeah. Mama gonna do it now. Doing this no, it's his birthday. We didn't get to celebrate it for real because he was sick last year. He had a hat and all of this stuff on his birthday while he's trying to shave me. Uh huh. Gonna crop you right on now, buddy. <laughs> Whoa! Do all this on one string. Hope they have no string, please. It's some for this. I see. I'm definitely doing this backwards, but it's alright. The thought that counts, huh, Sunto? I gotta cook his food. Order my food. Call our mama so they can see the birthday boys. You think he knows it's his birthday? <laughs> Ooh, I'm just doing this out of out of the love for my little booty dog. My little my little booty. He's just he don't give a damn. That's how these kids are, bitch. And they don't be caring. Not for real, not to a certain age. What you get for Amazon Prime Day? Why are you saying like that? Like what? I'm just asking. Well, then I scream at you as well. I ain't getting no dog there like that, girl. So do you realize that you overreact? Once you repeat it. Or like you. I didn't you know, overreact. No, you definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to acknowledge that? Are we overreacting? Oh, I didn't think I did actually, but I apologize. I ain't too big to apologize. But you only asked me so you can tell me all the 50 things you got. No, I just. Well, I got my, 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 my. I got a couple things. Oh, you did. Yeah, I got a couple things, but I had budgeted out what I was gonna get, and I stuck. Well, I went a little over budget. I mean, I went a little over budget, but. Love your mommy. Is that smoke? Why well, my glasses are just dirty? I think my glasses are dirty. Do you love your mommies? Are you gonna eat good fools? Take a pictures? Okay. Wait. 
Mommy gonna take a picture. It's here. Wait. You can have a little piece while you wait. Sit. Sit. This way. Good boys. Stay right there. Okay, just wait a sec. Please hurry up, Mom. We've been having a okay, call. Shanto? Hey, Dickie. Hi, Santo. Look, it's my birthday. All the <laughs> Okay. Ready? Ready? Yeah. All right. Ready, Mom? Yeah. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Santo. Happy birthday to you. Yay! All right. You want some cake? Okay, you got cake and steak and salmon. Which one you want first? He don't know what to do. He been sitting here for so long. <laughs> Come on, you wanna eat? Or you want your cake? Okay, yeah, let's eat. Good morning, y'all. So it is, I don't even know what day it is, but of course y'all see my hair is different. So it is, damn, I still don't know what the day is. Okay, it's Thursday, July 18th. Um, I'm headed into the office today. Today is an in-office day for us. And I'm not gonna lie, I had an epiphany this morning that it might be time for me to look for another job. Just because I am a remote girly through and through. I have not worked in an office permanently, like more than once a month since 20, 20, literally. So going on almost four years, I have been completely remote. So with that being said, this morning getting up for me, I was just having such a rough time. Like I wasn't prepared, honestly. Um, I didn't get gas last night whatever whatever but it just made me realize that there are so many other companies that i could go to and number one make more money and still be fully remote which i think that i need to go ahead and take that leap the only reason why i have not tried to like really like find another job is because i'm just comfortable here um i recently got promoted like you know it's not a horrible situation i know what i'm dealing with basically and it's like i don't want to trick myself out no bag you know but also too, I feel like I am tricking myself out of bed by not going and trying to be at these other companies. Cause for you guys that don't know, I'm a client success partner. So similar customer success, we just call it client at my job. Um, but I'm a client success partner. So that means that basically I take care of very high level initiatives and mission critical priorities for my clients. I help guide them through their process. So it's kind of similar to project management, but my company is like one of the top companies. So with that being said, I'm just kind of at this point where like, okay, I need to like spruce up my resume, get my life together and go apply for other jobs because yeah, baby, these people driving so fucking crazy. I'm already going 82 in the fast lane, like baby. Ooh, Lord, they almost friends. Yeah, let me tell y'all something about driving in Texas. Bitch, you better have a dash cam and, and a gun in your car. Cause these people will hit your shit and drive right off. But anywho y'all, also too, one more thing to celebrate. I set a goal that I wanted to reach 100 subscribers by the um, end of this week. So by Saturday, I wanted to hit 100 subscribers. Tell me why I hit it overnight. I went from literally 86 subscribers to 109, period. So I'm just so excited to start this YouTube journey and you know, just, just do the things because yeah, it's coming together and I'm really proud of myself. I'm just gonna keep repurposing my gun scene and posting it on YouTube shorts and just see what happens. But yeah, I'm in my bag and I'm in his too, period. Y'all, real quick update. Why I just check my subscribers? I know I shouldn't be doing that while I'm driving, but why I just check my like stats on YouTube and I have 109 subscribers. Bitch, I was talking about Saturday. Yeah, I just did it overnight, period. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I love YouTube. I feel so free. I feel like I can be myself. I feel like I don't have to condense myself down to 60 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever. It's just so free. I'm not gonna lie, I should've did YouTube way, way earlier. So if you are one of the girlies that's considering YouTube, just start it because you really never know who your audience is 
Because, baby, let me tell you something about this social media shit. Your family and your friends, they are not your audience. They support you because of who you are, but there are people who will literally just like you because of the things that you do, the person that you are, the vibes that you give off. And I feel like a lot of times, people get upset with their friends and their families because they expect this like crazy amount of support and interactions. And really and truly, you have to understand that these people support you because they know you and they love you. You make content for yourself, but the people that will consume it and support you and continue to support you are the ones that are genuinely going to find you entertaining. They're genuinely going to relate to you in some capacity. And sometimes that's not your family and your friends. Like, it's literally okay. Like, I think a lot of people judge their family and their friends really too harshly when it comes to social media and y'all gotta stop doing that for real because one thing that i love about social media that changed shit for me is when i started my tiktok i did not connect my phone number to it so that's a major key for anybody who just wants to have a pleasant experience let's say you're trying to start over on instagram make a whole new email uh oh <laughs> hold on y'all Make a whole new email and do not attach your phone number to it. Don't try and be friends with anybody in your contact list. Like literally just start posting content and then watch how your audience finds you. Like and you're not, your audience isn't predetermined by the people that you already know. Because that genuine support that comes from people that find you authentically is so much better than you trying to force your friends and your family to support you. Trust me when I say this. I just made it to Dallas. I would turn this camera around so y'all can see the skyline, but y'all know how the Dallas skyline look little. Um, but it's still cute though. But I'm about to go to work. Thankfully, literally everything worked out how it needed to. Um, I'm coming into traffic now, of course, but I avoided so much traffic leaving out of like my house, like where I'm from. Well, not where I'm from, baby. <laughs> not from Texas. Um, where I live, I avoided so much traffic. So yeah, it just kind of helps me out because literally y'all I left my glasses and I had to go back home and for whatever reason God just had it happen and literally I'm making it here two minutes later than what I was supposed to when I left my glasses mind you I left my glasses had to go back home and get gas so it's all working out my meeting with my manager is at nine so I have time to get coffee and maybe a little bite to eat but yeah I'm ready to get to work you know, be cute, be seen. Hopefully I got enough time to do a little OOTD in the parking garage because yeah, the girlies look cute and I wanna make sure everybody sees my outfit, you know? Um, And I wanna do like a video before like, you know, I get through the work day. So yeah, but I'm in Dallas, finally, thank the Lord. And yeah, I'll check with y'all maybe during the work day if I can, but if not, I'll see y'all later at the hotel. Okay, y'all, just pulled up at work. I'm about to film a quick OOTD because I feel like I look really cute. But yes, this is a part of like being able to get content and having to get content, baby, because you just ain't got no choice. So let's get the content. <laughs> I am finally done with the work. I'm about to head to my hotel to hopefully check in just a little bit early. I'm gonna see if they let me. But baby, when I say today has been a day, and one thing about turning 28 is that your guts just be like hell no because the way i get gas for any little thing like if i don't drink enough water i literally get gas um anywho god moment i was talking to my co-worker because i'm not gonna lie y'all i'm really ready to get on my big girl shit and i've been thinking about buying a home um and just getting myself like you know in the in the process mentally spiritually whatever so whole time y'all I was thinking that I had to have so much in order. I was thinking I had to have like $30,000 saved and all of this stuff. Like, of course that would be nice. But to be honest with you, in comparison to rent prices versus paying for, um, versus paying like a mortgage, I'm not even gonna hold you. It's probably like a two or $300 difference. So with that being said, I'm kind of just like thinking to myself like, girl, what you gonna do but she really told me she was like girl you are more than ready like you don't need the money that you think you need blase blase so i'm like okay like i'm a bit more established than i'm giving myself credit for so literally she was like i can connect you with my realtor like you know he's great to just ask questions um and you know whatever so y'all literally oh wait am i going the right way no literally on a whim 
literally on a whim, she con connected me with him and he reached out to me and he's gonna send me a list of, sorry, I'm trying to figure out where the hell to go. Okay, he's gonna send me like a list of homes that are in my like budget and stuff. So literally, I might not even need to find an apartment, bitch. I could just be buying a home. And I love that for me because honestly, you know what? Yeah, it's time. Let's see, let's see what's out there and see what's possible. But I'm a perfectionist and if you know anything about being a perfectionist, you know that sometimes us trying to make everything perfect, make everything so reasonable and rational, causes us to stay stagnant. So, anywho, I'm just getting my life together and trying not to like let myself die in the waiting process or let my dreams die in the in waiting on things to be perfect so we'll see let me pull up this map to get to this hotel baby i don't be having no service in their parking garage hopefully ain't nobody coming behind me <laughs> okay y'all i looked disheveled because i just checked into my hotel room but my boyfriend literally booked me the cutest hotel room at the Westin. period but let's get into it let's go on a tour but first things first I know I'm in the dark right now. Let's 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 let it up, okay? Cause baby, mommy's in a corner unit. <laughs> y'all see motherfuckers ain't never used to nothing, but y'all let's get into the room, okay? So first things first, when you come in, you have this cute little half bath here. Love that. And then you have like the little kitchenette area. And here is the couch and the table which I absolutely love because there is a TV literally on both sides. And I'm sorry, but this is real player. This is real player. He did that. He did that. Just for me to have a little staycation, vacation by myself. Tub, another bathroom, and then the shower. Anywho, I'm about to take a shower, freshen up, and then go hit the streets because I need to get my toes done. I just feel like treating myself. But y'all, let's get into the view because this is literally so beautiful. Let's look at it. Ugh, look how stunning, y'all. Stunning. When I say stunning, I mean stunning. Corner unit vibes. Like, yes. Ugh, love it, love it, love it. Just got out the shower. I was talking to my mama. Now I'm ready to go get my toes done. And hopefully I can go somewhere cute for a little happy hour moment. I just want to relax. I'm just treating this as if it's like a staycation and I'm just doing all things to take care of myself. But I was trying to find the actual place that I wanted to go to. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, I might go here. They nails look good. Um, I was trying to find the actual place that I wanted to go to. And yeah, I think I found the one. They nails pretty. I don't see no toes. They talking about not fancy, but more than good service. Baby, I need I need the fancy. I need the fancy pants. Can I see the salons? Glamorous nails, by Josie nails, cute nails. Let me just go back up here. Dior nails, let's see. Let me just go to Dior, child. Dior got 4.8 stars, and it's spelled D apostrophe O-R. Hmm? So maybe they black. And if they not, I'ma I'm a look at them sideways. And it's only five minutes away, period. Okay, that's where we going, y'all, cause child, I ain't got time. Hotel, my toes are done. I'm about to go to this little Western club that they have up here on the 14th floor. I don't know, baby, I just feel real exclusive, real, real vibey. So I'm about to go in there, maybe get a little drink and some hors d'oeuvres and then go have dinner because baby, what you gonna do with Big Mama for real? I was Big Mama before the bitches was calling themselves Big Mama, okay? But let's get into the toes, okay? Cute little Frenchianos. Cute little Frenchianos. Cute little Frenchianos. Let's go do some content planning and just get in my life together, but I wanna do it with the vibes and the views, okay? Come on, y'all. This is the life I'm supposed to live, I'm convinced. <laughs> Sorry, you could have charged you. No, I understand. I wouldn't mind. My husband Thank you. was a professional keyboard player. Oh, I love that. Rock and roll, yes. blues, jazz. I love that. Piano was the first instrument I played. The what now? The piano. It was the first instrument I learned to play, and then I went on to play the clarinet, and I cool. stopped there, but I should have kept going. 
You can always use Spanish. Yeah, I was thinking about doing music lessons, like, again. Because I can still read music. I can still, like, play yeah. the basics. I'm like, just I need to it. do it again. It's, it's a good so mental relaxing. exercise. Yeah. And just, I need to uh, do it. They have all sorts of keyboards now. Mm -hmm. They're not near as expensive right, as, as they, they used to be. To be. Mm -hmm. You get fully weighted keyboards mm -hmm. if you're used to that. Yeah. I need to get back into it. I should have. I should have kept it up. Late. Yeah. I need to do it. Because I do miss it. And I'm still being able to read music just a tad. Like, I can. I feel like it's like riding a bike. Like, I just need to oh, refresh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you have the music in your heart? I think so. Like, then, I then love you Yeah. I need to do it. Yeah. It's just one of those things, like, I don't know. It's just, you lose it, but it's never lost. I gotta just go get it again. That's exactly, all. Girl. Yeah. So one thing I've really come to learn in my big age and really learned it today, July 18th, 2024, um, is that you have to manifest things physically. And what I mean by that is I know y'all see the post cause like I'm a G-Wagon girly. Like one day I'm gonna have a fucking G-Wagon. I'm gonna have a big fat ass house. I'm gonna live a beautiful fucking life because it's simply what I deserve. With that being said, you have to physically manifest and what i mean by that is you need to go and do the things that your future self or the version of you that's just better and more prepared wants to do you need to go experience these things even if it's baby going to the mercedes <laughs> lot and just getting in the g-wagon as weird as that feels as somebody who can't afford it now you just putting yourself in a position number one to experience it and physically manifest that way you put your hands on it you touch it you've seen it so how is it impossible and i'm not gonna lie to you i know staying in the west end is not a big deal to most people but I'm just looking at the overall aesthetics and the vibe of this hotel room. And this is the life I want to live. Like, literally high rise, floor to ceiling windows. Like, literally looking over the city, like, having a good time, drinking wine. Like, minding my business. It's quiet. It's peaceful. Like, I'm at peace. Everything in you and your right mind tries to tell you that, oh, this feels weird. Like, I shouldn't be here. I don't belong here. And to be very honest with you, how can you tell yourself that you don't belong in certain places that you've never been in? Okay, how, how can you tell yourself that? So it's like, for me personally, like sitting in this space, having the experience that I'm having, like I literally had such a good day at work. I checked into this hotel and they gave me what feels like the best fucking room in the building. I went to a special lounge that not everybody gets access to and the lady in there was just like speaking life into me and just being so kind and so sweet and I got to have a very pleasant experience and I deserve this every day. <laughs> I deserve it every day. So honestly, I think I'm done cutting corners. I think I'm done telling myself no. I think I'm done cutting myself short. I think I'm done limiting myself because i come from a limited mindset and one thing that i learned today literally is that you have to manifest physically you have to put yourself in these spaces you have to try new things that you are scared to do if that's what, who you want to be and what you want to do you have to put yourself in that space and i don't know maybe it's the line talking but I don't know y'all it's crazy it's like life life just like just tying it all in because i told y'all earlier that i was asking my co-worker like yeah like you know what what did you do to buy your house because she's single she's not married you know what i'm saying she's in a higher position than me but we make pretty much the same money so with that being said you know i was talking to her like girl yeah like what you doing because one of my personal goals is to buy a home i feel like i don't want to go into a marriage without having my own home and it's just because number one i'm setting myself and my husband up for success like i'm setting myself up for success like regardless of what happens i'll be good because i have a place to call home but i say that to say like I want to set my family up for number one, financial security and stability, but also to just learning how to practice that. And one of the ways that you can do that, baby, is with property. The world is not making more land. So 
anywho, I was talking to her about it because in my mind, y'all, I'm thinking I need $30,000. Like, I need six months of expenses set, a $30,000 down payment, and then I can buy a house, you know? And she was like, girl, what you got right now is everything that you need to buy a house. Like, give it to God and, like, you're going to be okay. It's like so much life has been spoken into me today. It's just, like, unbelievable. But I can tell... And I know I say this on every video, so don't judge me. But I literally can tell that like my life is about to change and everything that I deserve is about to become mine, but I have to allow it. I have to stop selling myself short and stop being scared. And one thing, when I was in therapy a long time ago, my therapist was like, yeah, you self-sabotage because that's the only way that you can control the outcome. And I realized that that is something that I do instead of like being disappointed or instead of letting the situation play out, I go ahead and disappoint myself or end things before it's time because I can predict that I can control that I can make that happen. Nobody has to disappoint me for me to, you know, make it happen. like, you know. But anywho, I'm saying that to say, and I'm honestly, y'all, in these YouTube videos, I really be talking to myself. But I'm saying that to say, if there is something that you want that is literally in front of you, it's accessible to you, you need to allow yourself to see it and to feel it. I promise you, it's worth it. Because right now, I'm just like literally manifesting in the physical. I will have this life whatever it looks like in whatever way it looks like it is going to probably look better than this and I'm 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 astonished and in love with this but God probably got something better I don't know I just feel good about today I am just rolling through life like I'm going through it and it's okay like it's going to be okay everything's going to be okay and it's okay not to know how to get there. It's okay not to know every step that you need to take. But just keep it going. It's gonna be okay. But yeah, anywho, I'm tired of my nails looking like this, so I'm about to <laughs> do my nails. My sister literally just texted me about the trip. Um, so let me actually let me FaceTime her because girl, I'm not getting sick of thoughts. I'm just a little drunk. Shirley, I'm not getting second thoughts. I just started drinking wine in the lounge and I just got a little drunk. Cheers to the girls weekend. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> you better watch those B words when you end up over there in the ocean. <laughs> Bolden sent me some eye patches. Check it out, check it out. They sent me some eye patches, so I'm about to put those on and make some content. Um, but yeah, I think these are cute. They're so cute. Oh my god. Hopefully I'm putting them on the right way, child. Oh, this is cute. It feel good too. Y'all, whole time, and I feel bad because they just sent this to my uh, P.O. box, child, and it was just sitting in my P.O. box for months. I had forgot to check it when I was in Dallas, like, just back and forth for work and stuff, but ooh, this feel good. Mmm. Yes, indeed. And you know what? I'm about to open a little bottle of Perrier. I don't even like sparkling water, but we gonna see what's happening tonight. It's like mentally at first you're expecting Sprite. <laughs> And I've had this before, it's just been a very long time. But mentally you're expecting Sprite and Sprite ain't nowhere in it. Anywho, y'all, should I take my hair down for the for the picture? Cause I'm trying to take a picture for them. Yeah, it's gotta be hair down. I wish my hair still had a curl, but it's okay. Maybe I can do like a little piece, you know? And then put the rest up. Yeah, that's cute, I like that. I like that. I like that. But I'm just trying to get some little, like some content pics because I feel like I'm feeling myself with this look right now. Let's see. I wish I had my <laughs> clear lip gloss. Okay, hold on y'all, let me, Oh, I got my topicals. Hold on, topicals, topicals, topicals. 
Let's have a course. Yes. Let's get into the topicals. Yes. Okay. So anywho, y'all, the tub isn't working. So I'm glad I said something because they had like the maintenance man come here. Maintenance man come figure it out. He called somebody on the phone. They come figure it out. Anywho, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna go talk to the front desk to see if they can give you like a free night or something. No free night, but they did give me $25 towards room service. I mean, it's okay. I was really hoping to use this tub because I'm not gonna lie, I, I would be finicky about any other place, but look at that y'all, it's beautiful. But basically somebody broke the handle that allows you to switch it back and forth before I got here. And yeah, I can't fix it. I hate that my nails not done, but that's okay. Okay, now I wanna get one like, it's like I'm, I'm envisioning something. So y'all help me out. That's too crazy, hold on. Oh, I like the phone. <laughs> Wrong side. Okay, y'all. It's like I'm trying to get like the aesthetic, like aesthetic. Okay, wait. I'm looking in the camera. I don't know if I took the picture. Oh, bitch, I'm screenshotting. No, that's not it. It's not giving what I thought it was gonna give. But let's see. I like this, but it's blurry. Hold on, there we go. I like that, but it's blurry, I like that. Okay, wait, let's just keep taking the pictures because a few hours later. <laughs> oh, actually I got something to tell y'all because I can't stand when somebody continues to talk about me after I ain't got nothing to say about them. Like, I feel like if somebody continues to talk about me, especially in a negative way, I feel like you you trying to pick on me. And one thing I don't do is get picked on, bitch. Because if you pick me, I'm going to pluck your ass. And I really be trying to hold my cool because in real life, I'm really the sweetest bitch. Like, I'm really a fucking sweetheart. Anybody that knows me knows. And it be bothering me when people bother me because I don't bother nobody. So with that being said, I keep coming across this girl that I used to be friends with continuing to talk about me to other people when I had nothing to do with her falling out with my motherfucking friends. Um, and I know this might be a little missing, but no see no shade. It's just kind of like, if you got all the smoke to talk about me when I'm not around and you see me and you don't have nothing to say, like I know setting matters and whatever, whatever, but it's just be bothering me because why continue to talk about me if I have done nothing to you? And if I did something to you, you still didn't have the balls to come to me and talk to me about it. Instead, you made yourself feel better by talking about me to other people. So in order for you to feel better about you being wrong in a situation, you wanna make me the villain. You wanna tarnish my name to anybody who will fucking listen. And yeah, I'm just not fucking with it. No see no shade, all to y'all shade, it can be that. But I'm just saying like, I, I don't like when people try and do that with me because genuinely I am the sweetest fucking person. And if you get me to a point where I'm not sweet to you, you absolutely deserve it. Like bitch, I'm Aries. Like I don't start no shit. I literally don't start no shit. And literally if you don't start no with me, it won't be nothing. But in this particular situation, this is what I wanna tell my babies. When you are making friends in your 20s, just be careful. Like every woman that you surround yourself with, you need to be equally yoked with. I'm talking about mentally, spiritually, emotionally. You don't need to be around nobody that don't got no morals. You don't need to be around nobody that just wants the materialistic things that they see other people have because again, we're in our 20s, so we're figuring life out. You don't need to be around nobody that don't respect themselves or their partner if they have one. Um, and you don't need to be around nobody that just wanna be around you because you seem fun. When people be seeing you out and they respond to your Instagram stories talking about, oh my God, we should be friends. Uh-uh, them ain't the bitches you should be friends with. Hear it from me now and hear it good, okay? Them bitches see your lifestyle and how you living and nine times out of 10, they just wanna be your friend because you out on the scene, not because of who you are as a person, okay? But anywho, I'd be the villain in any bitch story because guess what, bitch? I don't give a fuck. And one thing about me, I know I'm always white, okay? Period. So hopefully I took some cute pictures for Boulder because I'm gonna tag them. But anywho, good night, y'all. Good morning, y'all. It is 
<laughs> I never know the date when I start doing it. But it is Friday, July 19th. Baby, I'm just waking up having me a little bacon, a little bagel, because I don't eat no damn eggs. Um, anywho. Mm-hmm. This bacon good. I should got more. <laughs> anywho, y'all. I saw all the information about the Microsoft CrowdStrike outage. And here I am all happy and giddy thinking that I ain't got to work today because my computer screen is just going to be blue, baby. Now, nah, Teams and Outlook is up. So, with that being said, baby, plans, plans ruined. <laughs> I'm feeling good. It's a great morning. I took a bath last night, but I think I'm going to take another shower. Just going to get started for the day. I'm going to get rocking and rolling. I have a meeting. I'm meeting with this girl who's like, uh, her name is Marketing Mommy on Twitter, I think. But I'm meeting with her to kind of go over my social media, like influencer strategy. I paid $90, so we gonna see if it's worth it. I'll let y'all know. I'm not gonna lie, her clientele, she got some good clients. But with that being said, you know, sometimes in the social media space, people be lying about, you know what I'm saying, everything that they know or how they can get you connected. I don't have a manager. I don't think I'm there yet, but I do know some people with less followers than me. Um, or just a different niche to have management. So, I don't know. That's something I aspire to get because, of course, management gets you more deals. But, I don't know. In due time. Anywho, this social media shit, it's going to work out. But, baby, it's it's a journey. So, I'm learning by myself, navigating and negotiating all my deals and stuff by myself. And, I'm not going to lie. Beginning of the year, I don't know if people just had to budget. But, I had a brand deal January, February, March, April, May. June and July, slow down. Alright, damn, I need I need some more brand deals. And I was really being consistent with it, but now it's like, oh, slow. I don't, I don't pitch myself to brands, so maybe that's why it's slow for me. But when I do see like stuff out there and available, I apply for it. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. And she talks about pitching in her session with you. So I'm excited to meet with her. And see what she has to say just about my content in general like, what could i be doing better what should i be considering because i'm not gonna lie i really found a cheat not even a cheat code but i figured out that the key to youtube is to post shorts so now i'm just going to keep incorporating shorts and posting literally all my tiktoks to shorts <laughs> and my juicy videos to shorts and just see how it rock and roll because yeah i need to be monetized on multiple platforms instagram brought back their reels bonuses but y'all i literally be making like three dollars so i'm just i mean i'll post but i'm not posting for no money on there baby why did my best friend just text me to my why are we a mile apart this is what having locations to do this okay i didn't even know the girl was in texas but I'm free today. Not really, but I'm gonna be free today. I'm about to shower just because I want to really like refresh, you know, and get my life. And yeah, I got my call scheduled. So I'm gonna show y'all my outfit once I get out because I think it's so cute. Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna shower, get my life together, and then come back. But let's get to it. The way that I thought I left these curls at home, because y'all, I literally got up before work. <laughs> I literally got up before work and started packing. So I thought I left my curlers and like my comb. I did leave my brush, but I do have combs so I can make this shake. But baby, I'm in here trying to get my life together before this meeting with this girl. Cause I kind of want to make content out of it. But yeah, I'm just trying to add a little bumble curl to my hair child. And I thought I left it, baby. It was in the bottom of that suitcase. I said, thank you, Jesus. Cause mm -mm, I wasn't gonna be able to do it. I like being a little cute. I was gonna head right to Target and go get me a curler and a brush and a comb. Child, I just be spending money when I'm when I forget shit. I don't mind rebuying two or three things, honey. I rebuy it if I forgot it, man. It's all right. I just have extra for next time. But I'm just trying to add a little one to it to my hair because I'm gonna do a little something to my face and then go out and. Be on the sound. But baby, I got like 10 minutes to curl my hair, if that really. I just wanna add a little bump to it. Okay, y'all get into the fit real quick. Um, y'all know I got this outfit from Amazon. I'm gonna show y'all the full fit so y'all can see it. It's so hard to show y'all the full outfit in, in these little bitty cameras, but 
cute, right? Cute. So this is my outfit of the day. And I gotta show y'all my outfit of the night. I did a little bump and curl to my hair. I don't know how the back looks, so don't judge me. I just needed to put a little something in it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go into this meeting, probably pop on a press on mail or two, and then get the ball rolling on the day. All right, I'm about to go eat with my bestie. I charged my camera, got myself together. I already showed y'all my outfit. I'm literally, I had to film for my LCK because listen, the girlies gotta make a little coin, okay? So if you see this, I finally have my link in my bio. This outfit will be on my LTK. But let's go y'all, cause my friend is in town and I get to see them. I'm so happy I have dinner planned with another one of my friends tonight. And my other friend just popped up on me. So I'm about to go see her and her baby, which I didn't get to see last time. Um, so I'm just excited. Today is already such a good day. But baby, the laptop is packed and the remote worker is on the road, period. <laughs> See, I went to Italy too many times. I thought that she was mozzarella. I wasn't sure. Oh, but it does look like you said, Maya. This cannot. Oh. Uh, uh come on. This is part of the YouTube. This can't handle. When you don't leave your pop on the camera. Literally. He said this legit cannot happen because look at these people. So we're watching the video. Mm -hmm. This cannot. All right, y'all, so I'm finally done with my makeup. It is currently 7.04, and my goal is to be out of here by at least 7.40, because I make it to the place right on time, if so. But I just want my hair to be a bit bigger. I wish I brought my sprays. I don't have no holding spray with me, so that's the problem. But I do have dry shampoo, so I'm gonna see if I can use that to give it a little bit more volume. See how that goes. And I left my brush again. I know I said that, but it's kind of hard to do your hair without a good brush. So I'm using the Dove Dry Shampoo. I don't know if y'all have used this before, but you should definitely try. Um, you just bring your hair back to life. And it make you so like voluminous. Ooh, I feel like I sprayed that in my damn eye. I don't know how I didn't bring my brushes and all my stuff. I'm so upset with myself. Maybe by the grace of something, this edge look right, but I think I'm gonna put a little makeup on it. Lift the spray. I know you gotta touch up that, that part where it's plucked right there in front of that closure. Yeah. clips but I don't anyway y'all I'm so excited to go and get cute I'm literally having the best freaking weekend ever <laughs> like it's been a long time since I had this much fun and been with my girls so I'm excited especially now that I'm staying one extra day y'all see from earlier it's holding a curl much better I should have been sprayed that dry shampoo in there I felt like this morning I couldn't get a good grip on it to really curl it how I needed to. Anywho, my friend left me a little tequila. So I'm thinking y'all, I sleep on an Uber, <laughs> but I need to take some stuff. So I'm gonna take my car. Mm. I'm definitely not gonna drink all that. Oh gosh. Ooh. It's good though, but damn. Yeah, I'm good for burning up a dress or anything like this. I'm good for burning it up. So you cannot tie these dress how I want to, but child, this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm wearing my simple gold heels, like always. I need to get some more shoes while I'm here, honestly. Y'all, I literally just dropped my camera and I don't even know how it's working, but thank God, because I was about to literally cry. My lens was all fucked up. Y'all, I I really wanna pat my face one more time because I was in here like sweating, panicking, thinking that I had fucked up this camera. Bitch, I'm just knocking stuff over. I just feel, I feel okay, but it's just, y'all know how it is. My nose. 
little sweaty. I look, I, I mean, I feel okay. I wish this dress would just stay how I need to, but I'm gonna ask my friend to tie it for me. And then, yeah, let me grab this and some flip flops, cause yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it in these all night. Okay, y'all, let's go, cause baby, I just stressed myself out so bad. <laughs> I'm in the bed. I feel great, but I am ready to go night night. Mm -hmm. Good night. Okay, y'all, so I'm at the mall. I think my first stop is going to be Zara because I really like this particular Zara. So I'm gonna go in there. Hopefully I can find an outfit. I just want a backup outfit for tonight and hopefully I can find like a cute little lounge dress or something. But let's see, child. I like this because of the back more than anything. I think the back is honestly so cute. But I'm thinking about getting this for my trip with my sister to Jamaica. And I feel like it's a cute little everyday dress to have. But let me tell you something about these hips. They're spreading. Baby, the way that I could barely get this up, I wish I could get an extra small because it would fit better here. But I might just get it tailored and get this taken in so because the waist to hip ratio is starting to change. For the better, but not for the better of me my clothes. So this one's a yes. This top is a maybe. I feel like it's a bit boxy. I want it to open like have it open it a little further so right now it's a no but y'all tell me why i'm trying all big i thought i was a cute little four in zara in the waist yes we good on the waist but we can't do nothing with this so i'm gonna have to go try on a six which is okay but i'm gonna figure it out when did the girls get so big when did i not be a small since when have I not been a smile? Oh my god. This dress, every time I keep trying to talk this baby with the bucket bucket. This dress is a definite yes. It's very long. You can't really tell, but I'm definitely getting a body. And that's the back of it. It's open. But that's the back of it's open. I love, personally, I love an open back moment. So to it and I'm tall and it's getting the floor so this is perfect for me love it Like it does nothing for my shape in here, but mm, it's on sale, so I picked it up to try it on. I'm glad I looked at it because normally I just blind by and then never return shit. So this is enough. So I can't really tell, but this is giving. This dress is also on sale. Um, I'm thinking about getting it for work. Of course, I have a body on it. It's an extra small, which is a little tighter here, but I think I can get away with it. But look at the waist, y'all. Look at the body. And if it is, if I feel like it's too inappropriate for work, I'll literally just 
wear it on day night because I still like this. I feel like it's very classy. A nice up to and just start from there. I want the story so big because it's a really on sale for $12. Yeah. But baby, yo, when did I become a fucking medium in Zara? I can't even zip this up. Oh, yeah. I wear a lot of that. I think that's very comfortable. Bitch, I'm a medium. Oh my god. That is crazy. This is also awesome, no. I wanted it to work because it would be cute for vacation. But it does absolutely nothing for my shape. I'm literally just like standing here looking like I'm in a nightgown. But it's really cute. I like the bag, but she just does nothing for my shape. And this is an extra smile for reference. I do like those for my sugar. Mm. Yeah, I know I love glass stuff. I just bought some stuff from Asian and Mom. I bought these. Or something that looks like these. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Those look good, Maya. Yeah. Oh, thank you. We gotta do the espresso martinis and at least go to cheers to the girls we <laughs> eat. So I just pulled up to the Dallas Staples shoe deals. I'm gonna go in here and see if I can find some heels. I'm probably not gonna be in here long because I really have to pee, but we'll see if I can find some shoes. Cause I do need some new heels, but I don't wanna pay an arm and a leg for them. So let's go find some. <sighs> Baby, why is they packed in there like fucking sardines? These are extra cute. I like those. Okay, y'all, I basically got what I needed from shooting. So I'm about to head back to the hotel because Auntie need a nap. Auntie needs a nap nap. I can't wait to slide this wig off and go to their room and do what I need to do. Child, we'll talk later. <laughs> Baby, the nap that I just took, I didn't want to I didn't want to release myself from the shackles. Anywho, it's time to go get dinner and I'm tired of fucking drinking. I think I'm going to take a hiatus from drinking. I feel like I've been drinking a lot lately. And I'm not gonna lie, bitch, drinking be having your little pot belly, okay? Not saying that I got a full bone beer belly, pot belly, but yeah, it's, it's starting to poke out a little bit and I don't like that. <laughs> I did have to miss a few days of my birth control, but I was able to get a refill here, of course, which y'all saw earlier, so I don't know if that's the reason for the bloating, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm blaming the alcohol. I am blaming the alcohol. So literally, it is 740. I wanna be done with everything by 815 or 8, let me just say 830. Really 815 because I have to walk to the car, go pick up Shaylin and then head to the restaurant. But our reservation is at nine, so I have time, but I'm just like tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. And honestly, today I should have been able to go, but I wasn't able to go, which is okay. It's not horrible, but I um 
There was an open house for one of the houses that my realtor sent me. There's another one tomorrow that I might try and go to if it's not too late. Like hopefully it's um not from two to four, which cause I have to check out of here, but I want to say 12. So I'm not going to just keep myself busy for two hours just so I can stay here. I'm going to go ahead and go home, but I need to look and see how like when the open house starts because I'd want to see something if I possibly can while I'm here. If not, I mean, it's okay. The opportunity just presented itself. I saw this girl's makeup tutorial. Her name is Summer Williams on TikTok, girl. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup just like that. I followed it yesterday and my makeup was real cute. So Summer, shout out to you, girl. Um, You did that, but now, if y'all see this, don't judge me because I ain't got time to clean these brushes again today. <laughs> I don't have time now. Don't judge me. Do not judge me, honey. Y'all gonna get what I got because I'm so tired of wearing makeup. I ain't gonna lie. I don't wear makeup like this. I've been wearing this shit Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Three days in a row. I don't do this, y'all. I don't do this. Anywho. I'm excited about my purchases from Zara because y'all, y'all just don't know. I be Zara be hit or miss for me. And I never go and try stuff on. It literally was like my second time in Zara history trying stuff on. But baby, also speaking of that, why the hell do I wear a size six? Y'all saw them pants. But let's talk about it. Let's chat about that. Because how the hell do I wear a size six, bro? in Zara pants. I literally went from like two, four, now I'm at a six. Like, I can't even button the fours. That is crazy to me, honey. I'm in denial. I'm in denial that I don't wear a size small no more. <laughs> Baby, big mama. Guys are mad at the girl who's calling themselves big mama, but I really be calling myself big mama. Especially when, especially when I eat a lot of food. Oh, baby, it be some days where I give big mama. Yes, ma'am. Big mama. But I'm here for the pregnant girl who's starting to use it too, though. You better drop your announcement with the big mama tag and t-shirt on. Period, sis. I'm here for it. I ain't gonna lie. And watching these YouTubes back, I'm such a my man, my man, my man ass girl. Oh my God. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> when did I become her? I'm, I'm confused. That's crazy. <laughs> That is crazy. Speaking of that, it's something so interesting that happens like when you are a girly who like doesn't publicly post your relationship. And honestly, for no reason at all, but it's just that both of us are very like private people. And he is especially private. Like he does not, like for a long time, he didn't have social media. We also don't follow each other on social media. How y'all feel about that? But it was like one time we were following each other. This was when we was dating when we was younger. Like I, uh, Blocked him and then unblocked him so he would be removed as my follower. Child, he was like, I'll never follow you again. Baby, you know what? I was feeling some type of way about it back then, but you know what? I get to do and say what I want to do, even though I'm not doing nothing too crazy. It's just that when you follow your significant other on social media, some of the stuff that they do that literally could be so innocent, could be so triggering. So to my girlies that struggle with something like that or struggle with following your significant other, try unfollowing them. Try unfollowing them. You see them enough in person, like already. So maybe don't crowd your mind with like assumptions and just social media. Sometimes social media can just ruin things. But I now that I know, I'm very much pro unfollow your significant other on social media or just don't start following each other at all. And I don't know, for me, it's been very peaceful, but I know some people be like, uh-uh, da 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 but I'm not gonna lie to you, I just feel like, Sometimes people just need their space. And I'm not saying you gotta be, tr like, you can do this with somebody, of course, that you trust, but why would you want to sit up and watch the social media of somebody all day long that you with and then you don't trust them and anything they say and do or whoever comment on their stuff is triggering you. Baby, I don't even see what's going on over there. Cause one thing about me, when it comes to some bullshit with a man, especially, and I said, I, I, I just gotta deal with it, but baby, I'm human, ain't no telling what's gonna happen. But one thing when i when it comes to that for me i'm not checking on phones i'm not doing none of that shit shit gotta come to me and land dead in my face because i know if he did all that baby it was, I, it was meant to be seen i was meant to see it like whatever it is but yeah i don't do that i don't do that no no definitely not no more um not to check your phone girly if i feel like i gotta do all that with you baby we just ain't gotta be together i'm cool 
I'm cool on you, sweetie pie. So, because again, y'all know how social media is. Like even if you post your man, from a woman's perspective, even if you post your man, you literally could post your man all the time. Like I, people who know you know that you are with this person. And then boom, here goes somebody commenting something on your page that you ain't literally ever engaged with. Or you know what I'm saying? They probably been in your DMs a couple times and you just like gave a thank you or or didn't reply at all. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it'd be like that. But and your man see it and now it's the whole thing. Like, uh-uh. Cause you ain't got control over that. And I just feel like sometimes with your person, shit just gets sensitive. And if I can block any bit of that sensitivity for me and not trigger my fucking self, mm -mm, I'll do it. Don't worry about it. We ain't gotta follow each other. I'm so good on that shit. But I might be one of the crazy ones and the girlies might disagree with me. But personally, I feel like I'm not bothered by this shit at all. What else right here after this part? Okay, she did a little spray. That's it for a minute. All right. It look crazy, but I promise y'all it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be worth it. I get a bit like a steadier hand with this eyeliner because yeah, I'll be messing up. It's perfect. Hey, when I tell you I'm such a bronzer on the eye girly now, like now that's one thing I did learn from Jada and Dez. Girlies with the bronzer on the eye. So cute to me. And it's so subtle. Cause literally I'm about to do this, put a little highlighter in my corner, baby, and this is. I look a mess right now. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me fix this light. Cause uh-uh. Oh, my nose every freaking time. Every freaking time. It's about to start just dripping. It's so annoyed by that. Mm. That's the Black King right there. <laughs> Where'd they come from? <laughs> I'm confused, y'all. Where did they go from? I need to make sure I ain't singing no credit. Mm. Okay. I had to turn the camera this way because I don't think y'all was gonna believe me if I said my eyebrows are different shapes. Anyway, I don't give a damn. Um, I don't think y'all was gonna believe me if I said my makeup looks cute because in that lighting on that side, it wasn't giving. But it's, I feel like it's really good. Hang up on you. Not in the mood. Okay. Look at the bitch braids. Um, yeah. Fix that up. Baby, I'm about to put a little one two in this hair because it's gonna fall anyways. Keep on kicking, cause what time is it? I actually need to charge this camera and go on about my business. Hey y'all, real quick, cause I literally gotta go pick up shaving wig right now. This is the fit, cute. I got a little heel on, one two, and yeah, we're ready to go. Bye y'all. Y'all, we went to Joey Dallas to eat, which is new to Dallas, and y'all, it's so, so good. Of course, I had to mute all of these clips because we was having girl talk, and yeah, but this ravioli right here is so freaking good. The dumplings were good. I just wish they came out hotter, and the espresso martini I got literally kept me up all night, and it's one of the best ones, if not the best one I've ever freaking had. Go try it. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday, I believe, July 21st. Um, I'm getting ready to check out of my hotel, but I'm literally just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do because I'm not gonna lie, I'm so tired. I literally could get up and get on the road right now. But I did set a waxing appointment because I'm about to go home to my man. Mm -hmm. And that's at 12. So right now it's about 10 o'clock. There is also another open house today for a house that's in South Dallas. I know, I know. But I just wanna go and experience it and see, you know, what it's like. So hopefully I can time everything correctly and then just be able to see it without going too far out of my way. So maybe just pushing myself back as far as travel time and hour. 
I got a lot of questions on my frugal as fuck video that I posted a couple days ago. And so I'm just gonna take some time and make some content and respond to some of those people that were asking me financial questions on TikTok. So literally y'all got my tripod set up. I'm gonna sit right here. I just wrote some notes down on my iPad. And baby, I'm just about to get in a real raw early in the morning, you know just tell them what i did so i love sharing the wealth especially when it comes to finances like y'all you just don't understand but yeah so let's get it together y'all okay i'm all packed up and ready to go i have to leave this beautiful hotel i had a great time here y'all i'm just basking and everything and just so very thankful in this moment like i know it's so simple but i'm just grateful like i had a really good weekend and now it's time for me to head home i'm gonna stop by european wax center get a wax um but yeah i'm about to leave so let's say bye to the i don't know why they so but down i mean let's say bye to the beautiful hotel room i just uh, i'm gonna miss these plush sheets i slept so good in here <laughs> i'm headed back home because i thought about going to the open house and maybe i still should but it's also raining and i'm predicted right now to make it home at 3 11 so i just don't want to prolong it had that open house been at 10 this morning it would have been perfect but it was at 12 it starts at 12 or 1 no it starts at 1 and it's kind of closer to downtown dallas so yeah it's okay i'm just gonna set up some time to like actually meet with my realtor and find time like when it's time that way we can just like have a whole day but i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm kind of liking the idea of buying a home i'm not gonna hold you like i think personally i'm gonna set a goal as far as like saving and doing all of the things i'm gonna set a personal goal to have twenty thousand saved so that's why i gotta pay this debt off like asap asap um i'm gonna give myself time to kind of get another credit card and just you know start building more um diverse credit and yeah just make a game plan so i'm gonna use because transparently i don't know when i would be moving to dallas like so much has gotten pushed back with that process so i'm just like you know if i can wait another four months and save that amount of money I will if I can wait a little bit longer and save more you know what I'm saying I will and then go straight into a house like when it's time but mm-hmm y'all I'm almost home but I wanted to come on here really quick and just tell you guys thank you for watching this vlog thank you for spending the weekend with me it's getting it's getting bigger and better i made 200 subscribers today so i'm just so grateful so thankful for you guys loving me and allowing me to be me but be sure to like comment and subscribe thank y'all for watching episode number four period <laughs>